welcome back to Poppins Approved. If you're new here, I am Jen and I do tons of different bag reviews, all types of bags. So recently I've been interested in some different leather bags and one of the bags that caught my eye was the Azaria Lux Collection. And there aren't, I don't know if there's any reviews on YouTube of this bag, so I was very intrigued and wanted to know more about it. Um, so I ended up grabbing that bag in black. Like I said, this is the Azaria Lux version, so this is a real leather bag. And I have to say, it's super, super pretty. I really, really love all of the features and the materials that they use. So as I unpack the bag for you to kind of show you what fits in here, I'll kind of walk you through the different features and the materials and everything. And just, you know, of course, as always, let you know my opinion on this bag. I'll show you what this bag looks like on the body as well. Okay, so here's a better look at the bag up close. You can see here it looks really similar to their original bags. There are a few differences, like the zipper pulls here, which are really, really pretty long zipper pulls um, made out of real leather. I kind of wish this one over here was just a little bit shorter. It does hang longer than the bag, and then when you set it down, it kind of bends up. So I wish that one was just a tiny, tiny bit shorter. But other than that, these are really beautiful. I love them. The zippers on this bag are really, really nice and smooth. They are YKK zippers. It's a really nice brushed silver hardware, and I think it matches really nicely with this matte black color that they chose for the leather. I really, really like this leather. It feels really like nice and smooth and soft but it's also got a lot of structure to it so there are other bags that are the faux leather bags I like those bags because they're nice and like squishy and movable this bag has the soft like smooth leather but it's very like structured so it is a little bit stiffer than those bags like see here it doesn't really there's not a like ton of give something that I really really like is this grab handle it's a leather handle it's really sturdy and comfortable to hold Okay, on the back here, I love these backpack straps. I wish Azaria would change all of their straps to this kind of strap with this kind of adjustability because it's really easy to adjust here. It's just this little belt, but it will never move on you. So you're never like readjusting it to get it to the right spot again because the little hardware has moved down again. It stays where it needs to stay. It has this little loop here on the end to keep this tail kind of down so it's not in your way. And then this part up here is so comfortable with like the memory foam mesh backside so it's really nice and like breathable and the width of it is really nice. I just wish all of the Azaria bags had these backpack straps because these are awesome. You have a nice back pocket here. You do get four brushed silver feet on the bottom and then like all of their bags you have a magnetic closure pocket here. On the sides you get these nice slanted water bottle pockets and this is a pretty like wide water bottle. I love that my water bottle will fit inside of this bag with no problem. I could also see myself, besides just using this as a diaper bag, I could definitely see myself using this for travel, for just like a purse for day to day because it's so classy and pretty looking. This is definitely a bag that will grow with you and will last way beyond baby years. So I'm loving it for that reason. Right here, this front pocket goes all the way across. But right now, all I have in here is some um, earphones. In this front pocket here with the magnet closure, kind of down at the bottom, I have my wallet here, and then I also have a little compact. In this pocket on this side, I am just keeping my phone and then also some lip product. On the back side, I love having this nice, like, big back pocket for anything that you need, but right now I'm just keeping it for some different wipes that I need to grab for quick quickly. That's another thing that I really love about this. You have so many outside pockets to help keep you organized. So you have one, two, three, four, five outer pockets. So you can really grab for everything that you need on the go really fast. Again, love this smooth zipper, and I like that you have this nice big opening here, and you can really see down in, and it makes it really easy to like see everything that you have in your bag. As you can see here, this is actually a different material than they use in their other bags. In their other bags, it's like a light kind of dusty pink faux leather material. In this, it actually feels more of like a canvassy material, so I don't feel like it's as like easily wipeable, but I think you still could spot clean very, very easily with this fabric. You have this little back section here, 
and I'll just pull this out of there. But it does have a magnet, so it'll keep your items safe in there if they're not as tall as mine were. So in this little pouch here I have from Bond Design, I'm keeping different things in here. I have a notebook for myself. I also have some crayons. I have a couple of boogie boards, and this boogie board is actually kind of a see-through boogie board. And I got this from my son so that he could practice. It comes with um, these cards and you can see through and then he can practice writing his letters. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I, last thing, I have this little itsy ritzy snack bag. I have my checkbook and then I'll also just keep different receipts in here. And you have this nice big zippered pocket here in the back. And in here, I just have different like pens, tied to go pen, some gum, and then just like a piece of paper. Just sitting in the main part, I have a Jujube large set piece. In here is where I'm keeping all my diapering needs. I have a little girl who is two, but she is wearing size five diapers here. I have a white pouch with wipes, itsy ritzy wet bag there. And then I also have some of the baggies there for dirty diapers. As you can see in here, you have two elasticated mesh pockets on the sides. In this one, I have a small set piece. That one just has some squigs for the kids to play with. And then on this side, I'm actually keeping the messenger strap that comes with the bag. And I love this messenger strap. On this side, you have the leather. And then on the back side, you have like a really nice thick kind of canvasy material. But that strap is really nice and comfortable. Right here, I love that you have this key leash that's a little bit longer. It's the perfect length for me to put my keys on there and then put them inside of that mesh pocket on the side there. And then on this side, you have two more elastic pockets. This one is a little bit wider than this one. In here, this is a perfect size for a medium set piece. And in here, I just have all my different snacks. And then in this pocket right here, I have another Itsy Ritzy um, snack bag. But in here, I'm actually just keeping little things for myself and like some med kit things. So I have some hand sanitizer, some floss, some ointment, hand cream, sunscreen, all different kinds of little things that we might need while we're out. Give you another really good look at the inside of the bag and all the pockets that you get. So there you go, that is Azaria Lemire Luxe in Black. They also have this bag in a really pretty um, brownish color. I think it's called Con Cognac? Cognac? I don't know how to say it. But the black is really, really beautiful and really classy looking. So I've been really enjoying it. Let me just show you something on this leather. So if I make like a little scratch here with my fingernail, that's the way the leather is meant to be. It's meant to like get scratched up and look really worn and beautiful. But I have found that if you are worried about it getting scratched or anything, it's super, super easily buffed out. So if you take some of your like leather care stuff, you can buff it out. But as you can see, I pretty much just buffed that out with my finger and it went away. So this leather is really, really cool. It's really interesting and I've been liking it a lot. Azaria, please bring these backpack straps to all of your bags. I think they're amazing. I hope this review was helpful if you are interested in this bag or maybe just the brand you're wondering about. I think they do a really good job of listening to their customers and what their customers want and they try and bring that to us. And so I really appreciate them for that. I did want to show you there. That is the logo kind of stamped into the leather. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. As always, leave your questions and comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and we will talk to you guys next time.